the bend, just look and see. You'll find a place for you and me. It's not too far, just past the tree. It's a place we love to be. Well, it's Frog Hollow. Frog Hollow. Let me hear you sing Frog Hollow. Frog Hollow. Just wait and see. Well, it's Frog Hollow. Frog Hollow. Let me hear you sing Frog Hollow. Frog Hollow. Let's look and see. your cheek. Oh, I have got a sore tooth. A sore tooth? Yeah. Ooh, it really hurts. Would you do bite on an ice cube or something? No. I don't know. I just woke up and I had a real bad toothache. And I don't know what I did. It just, I mean, it was sore a little bit last week, but then it went away and then it got real sore this morning. You know what Ooh. Auntie Amy says? What? She says you should brush your teeth three times a day, don't eat too many sweets, and visit your doctor, what'd she call him? A dentist. Yeah, I know. Visit your tooth doctor, who's called a dentist, um, I think two times a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I haven't been brushing three times a day. I, I, I missed a couple of times, I have to admit. Well, Ooh. you better call the dentist. Yeah. Now, a dentist is a friendly person who cares about your teeth. That's right. Yeah, I better call the dentist. Your Auntie Amy is right. And you're right. No, uh, because if you have a hurt tooth, then a dentist can fix it for you. Yeah, I know. They'll never be able to see me on such short notice, though. You know, they usually booked up for weeks. And Hello? <coughs> yeah, hi. Uh, this is Pete over at the general store. <coughs> Uh, I'm doing okay, but I have a real bad toothache, and I don't know if it's a cavity or if a filling fell out or I don't know what it is. Do you think you can see me today? Yeah, I could come over any time at all. Oh, 11 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. I'll see you then. Oh. Is the dentist going to see you? Yes, I'm very lucky they can fit me in at 11 o'clock. Boys and girls, I am so excited. We have a special guest coming to visit us this afternoon. Her name is Miss Kim, and she's from the health department, and she's coming to talk to us about teeth. Um, we have a word on the board. Let's talk about that for a minute before I tell you what I'd like for you to do. Molar, M-O-L-A-R. Uh, Miss Vivian, I know. P uh, Portia. A molar is a kind of a bear that lives way up north where it snows all the time. They call it molar oh, bears. Portia, no, that's not a molar, it. that's a polar. No, that's a polar bear. Uh, Joey, do you know what molar means? Um, Miss Vivian, I think my mom told me that it was one of your teeth. I don't really know which one it is, but it's somewhere back up in there. Uh, Miss Vivian, I know. Tommy. You see, my mommy told me that a molar is one of the big teeth in back. Yeah, because they look like, I mean, well, your big teeth in back look like a big M. Well, the molar starts with M. You're right. The molar is the teeth, the molars are the teeth that you have in the back of your mouth, and they grind your food up. The front teeth help bite the food, and then the next set of teeth help chew the food, but the molars grind it up before you swallow it. And that's probably one of the terms that Miss Kim will help us with this afternoon when she comes. Um, I wanted to show you this illustration of a tooth. You know, maybe some of you didn't know that your tooth, although it grows, it grows in the top where you can see it, where you brush, but it also has a root that grows under your gum. And I wanted you to see this. The crown is the part of the tooth that we can see on the top, and that's this part right here, the crown. And the crown helps us bite and tear and grind our food and chew our food. And the root is the part of the tooth that's hidden by the gums. You can see the gums are up around the root, and they come right up to where the crown starts to grow on, on the top part. Um, why do you think this picture has a tree beside it? The picture of the tooth has a tree beside Miss it. Miss I know. Sally. Because your tooth is very much like a tree. You have the beautiful part that sticks out above the ground and the root, which is underneath, and holds it to the earth. You're the exactly right. 
Sally, that's a very good explanation. You're, you're exactly right. We need to go to the restroom and get a drink of water, and when we come back, I'll tell you what we're going to do for Miss Kim today. Oh, boy. There's more Frog Hollow coming up. I'm so glad you're back. Oof. How do you feel? I feel great. You do? Yeah, I sure do. Just like that you feel great? Yeah, this dentist was wonderful, you know? Well... Dentists are great. Was it a lady dentist or a man dentist? Well, this was a man, but there was a lady dentist there also. Well, was he nice to you? He was real nice. He was nice because he understands all about your teeth, right? Mm -hmm. And he can tell you how to take care of them. I have a, have a cavity. I had a cavity, which meant that I didn't quite clean down in between them as well as I should have. And all the food and sugar that I've been eating caused the tooth d to decay, and it made a little tiny hole in it. Oh. But he was so nice. And, you know, dentists usually, you know, they've worked so much on teeth that they're real gentle, and they know just how to get in there and fix it. Yeah, because they're doctors of your teeth That's and gums. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. And I feel much better. He put a filling in it. That means he put this kind of metal in there, this stuff that just fills it up, and it doesn't hurt anymore, and I can still chew on it. I have to be careful. I yeah, then it doesn't let any more hurt in. No more hurt. feels great. And I'm going to take care of my teeth from now on. You hey, better Pete. believe it. Hey, hey Michael, how you doing? How you guys doing today? Great. Right. I just, just got back from the dentist. I had to have a filling. Did it hurt? No. You're okay. I'm fine. It's great. Ah, I feel much better. Yeah. I have to have soup for lunch, but I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was just reading here in the school newsletter that they're going to have a special guest over at Ms. Vivian's classroom today. Who is um, it? Her name is Miss Kim, yeah. and she's from the health department, I think. She's going to be talking about teeth. Oh, I should have gone over there. Yeah, she's going to be over there later today. Great. I bet Miss Vivian's class is real excited about that, huh? Yeah. Boys and girls, you know one of the most important things you can do to take care of your teeth is eat the right foods. And I have a picture here, and I want you to look very closely at this picture, and it has a, an X drawn across it. Do any of you know why, when you really look at the foods, why it might have an X drawn across it? Oh, Miss Vivian, they've crossed off all my favorite things. Well... Yeah. You know, many snacks that you eat contain a lot of sugar, such as cake and candy and cookies. And each time you eat these sweet foods, you give the germs in your mouth a real fancy meal. And the germs continue to make acid and cause cavities. So when you choose a snack and if you get hungry between meals, you should choose something that doesn't have sugar. Now, what I would Vivian. like for you... Yes, Sally. My mom says that no matter what you're snacking, you must brush right after it. Well, that, that's good. You can brush three times a day or even more often, especially if you eat um, food that, that has sugar in it. What I want you to do today, boys and girls, is to think about a food, a good healthy food, a helpful food, that you might eat that would be better for a snack than something like we see here on this page. And I'd like for you to paint a picture of it so that we can give those pictures to Miss Kim when she comes this afternoon. Can you be thinking about a food that would be good for your teeth and do that for me? Yes, Miss Vivian. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Let's get started on our pictures for our guest. Yeah. It's almost time for the news, Max. Yeah. I'd really like to see the news today. Hey, Pete. Yeah, Facetia. Um, could you come turn on the TV for me? I can't hear you, Facetia. The TV. It's almost time for the news. Huh? Hey, Max. Max, do you think you could turn the TV on for me? Hey, great trick, Max. How about turning it on now? W-L-R-G. TV. Frog Holler. Bringing you news from around the world and your own backyard. This is WFRG Action News. Hey everybody, ugly to Sapp, and this is Action News, and do I have some news for you. Yes, sirree. 
I have a special guest today. This is Kim. She's from the health department. That's right. And guess what she's going to talk to us about? Cleaning your teeth. How to brush your teeth today. Well, I'll be. Just, yeah. just let her rip. I want to hear everything you have to say okay. about that. Uglina, this is my friend, Mr. Big Mouth. Oh. And he goes with me and helps me teach boys and girls how to brush their teeth the right way. But first, before we get started, let's um, talk about our gums a little bit. And I want you to touch your gums and feel them for me. Touch your gums, Uglina. Are they hard or soft? Well, mine are, mine are kind of in between. They're not, they're kind of soft next to my teeth. Oh, they're soft. That's uh, soft. Touch your teeth. Compare them to your teeth. Are your teeth hard or soft? Hard as a rock. Good for you. That's right. You want to be careful when you brush your teeth because your gums are soft. And if you get in there and you brush real hard like this, what do you think you could do to your gums? Well, you could hurt them, I bet you. You sure could. You could really hurt them. So what you want to be sure to do is brush gently and slow when you brush your teeth. Okay. What Mr. Big Mouth likes to do, he likes to use the jiggle-wiggle method. Jiggle-wiggle. Jiggle-wiggle. <laughs> Jiggle-wiggle. One, two, three is the way he likes to brush his teeth. I like the way that sounds. Okay, good. What he likes to do is he takes his toothbrush, puts it up against his teeth, and goes jiggle-wiggle. One, two, three. And we always start way in the back so you don't miss anything. You start at the front, and then you jump way here at the back, you could miss some of your teeth. So let's start way up here on the top, way at the back, and go jiggle, jiggle wiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. three. <laughs> jiggle, wiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. This is fun. Isn't that I'm fun? Really enjoying this. Yeah, your, <laughs> your teeth like it too. You've always got to remember to get on the inside too because it's very easy for a plaque which is the germs mm -hmm. that make cavities in your mouth and ca holes in your teeth it's easy for those oh. germs well hey there hey well, hi. Green, ma hi there i don't believe i've had the pleasure hi i'm kim well i'm tech mm -hmm. nice mm -hmm. this is bovine what are y'all doing in here hi, it sounds bye -bye. like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, yeah. did you drop your teeth? Yeah, drop my teeth. <laughs> oh, let's get, get those teeth there. Oh, yeah. Well, you, thank you, Keith. Keith. You can oh, yeah, in. you got them for us. Thank, thank you. you. That's thank great. You. There. Oh, a toothbrush. Time. Okay, ready? Can we do it? Ready, Bo? I, I got to give a toothbrush to Bo Vine. Here you go, Bo Vine. Here you go. Everybody out. All right. Okay, ready? All right. Jiggle, wiggle. One, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Oh, jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Come on, Bo, I am wiggle. One, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Bye, everybody. Hey, Bo, I'm Kim. Hey, Bo, I'm Kim. Hey, Bo, I'm Kim. Hey, Bo, Did I hear you calling me? Uh, oh, what was on? The news. <laughs> What'd you see? Well, there was a lady named Kim from the health department teaching us how to brush our teeth. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. <laughs> well, that's great. No kidding. And brushing the teeth? I've seen mm -hmm. him do that. The dentist told me about that. You just sort of work it in a little bit, and then you brush it down three times. Yeah, it was real cute. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh! You finished with the TV? Yeah, it's real heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle. That's pretty catchy, you know? It's like a song on the radio or something. Seems like somebody ought to make a song out of it. One, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle. Did she sing to it or anything? No, she just said it. Jiggle, wiggle, 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 wiggle one, one, two, three. three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, I think I'm going to come up with something good for that. Frog Hollow will be right back after this. Boys and girls, I told you we were going to have a special guest with us this afternoon. And this is, this is our guest. This is Miss Kim from the health department. Yeah, hi, hi, boys and girls. We're so hi, glad to have you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. The boys and girls have made pictures for you. We talked a little earlier about eating the right foods, that being very good for your teeth. And they've all drawn a picture of a food that they thought was good. And we want to let them tell you about it and why they thought it was good. Um, let's see. Portia, this was the one that you drew. Uh, Miss Vivian, um, I think cheese is good because it's from the dairy uh, group. 
and um, I think it, it builds um, strong bones and things. Is, is that right? That's Mickey? right. Milk. Cheese has milk in it, and milk is very good for your teeth. That's well, right, Portia. Portia, you picked a, picked a very good food. Milk, and that's has, milk has some cows. Cal what is it, Miss Kim? Cal calcium. 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 Yeah. That's right. Now, let's see. Tommy, this was the one you drew. This is a nice, big, shiny apple. Well, uh, Miss Vivian and Miss Kim, uh, you ever hear an apple a day keeps a doctor away? <laughs> That's right. And apples are good for your teeth because they're crunchy, and your teeth love crunchy foods. Well, Tommy, yeah. you picked a good one, too. And My that... brother says that if you eat an apple, it helps to clean your teeth. It really does. Now, carrots, let's see. Um, who's now? Oh, Joey, this is what you drew. Miss Vivian, yeah, I, I do carrots. Carrots taste really good, and my mom says that they're really good for your eyes and your teeth, too. You know, rabbits eat a lot of carrots, and they have real clean, shiny white teeth. That's right. That's right. That's a good food. See, the boys and girls are really smart in this they classroom. Are. They've been thinking. Now, let's see. Um, Sally, this was yours. Well, Miss Vivian, everyone knows that milk is a very important food, and it builds the strong, strong bones in your whole body and keeps your teeth healthy and strong. You're right, Sally. That's and right. how many glasses of milk do boys and girls need to drink a day? Probably one a day is enough. One serving of milk per meal is enough for you to drink every day. Well, that's good. And you know, boys and girls, I told you Miss Kim was going to tell us a little bit more about the word molar, and she has something to show us that's very special, so pay close attention. Oh, I'm, boy. I'm good. I'm glad y'all are excited. This yeah. is my friend, Mike Moeller. And Mike has a story for you today about how to take care of your teeth and why it's important to keep them clean. But before he can tell the story, Mike needs to have a face. Can you boys and girls help me out and tell me what you need to have a face? Yeah, yeah. What do you need? I know. What? Um, you need eyes. Yeah, eyes. Mike's got some nice eyes. Let's put some eyes on Mike Muller. There we go. Yeah, There's his eyes. Yeah, over here. Else? <laughs> what else? A nose. That's a nose, right. Yeah. Mike has a little pink nose. Good one, Joe. What else, boys and girls? A nose. Um, does he have any no. ears? No ears. How about a mouth? A mouth. Very good. Mike Muller has a big mouth here. Oh, yeah. And oh, Mike is smiling. Does anybody know why Mike is happy? Does anybody um, know? Because he doesn't have any cavities? That's right. Mike's happy because he's clean. How do you feel when you're clean? Do you feel good when you're clean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, too. And Mike likes to be clean. Uh, well, let's hear Ms. Mike's Kim? story. Yes. Does, does Mike have teeth, too? Well, Mike is a two, so I guess he does have teeth, doesn't he? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Let's hear Mike's story, boys and girls. Okay. Mike was a tooth that lived in a little boy's mouth. Do you think that little boy took good care of Mike Moeller? Yes. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, most of the time he did. He was real good, and he brushed and cleaned Mike every day. But you know what? Huh. One day he forgot. What happens when you forget to brush your teeth, boys and girls? Oh, they get dirty. Yes. They sure do. They get real dirty. And this icky, sticky, old yucky stuff gets all over them. Ooh, what is it? What do we call it? Does anybody know what that's called? I uh, believe it's called plaque. Plaque. That's right. Can y'all say that word? Can you say plaque? Plaque. 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 Can Very plaque good. Can plaque eating the wrong foods like sugar stuff, cake? And no, plaque lives in your mouth all the time, Miss oh, Vivian. It okay. lives on your teeth, on your tongue, and on on your cheeks, everywhere. But when it jumps on your teeth, that's when it can cause problems with your teeth. Oh. That's why you brush your teeth to get those plaque germs off your teeth. Well, you see, Mike Moeller, since the little boy didn't brush, got plaque on him. Well, do you think this made Mike happy or sad? Sad. Yes, I think this made him real oh, sad. Poor too. Mike. Poor Mike. He's so sad. Oh. He doesn't like to be dirty. Well, the little boy still forgot to brush his teeth. He just could not remember to brush his teeth. What happened next? What do you think? More plaque. He got More a plaque. cavity. He got a cavity. What's a cavity? Who it's can a, tell me? It's a hole in your tooth. That's right. It's a hole in your tooth. And he got a big, black, ugly hole in his tooth right there. Yeah. Well, when Mike... Mike was very, very upset about that. So upset that he started to cry. Oh. See Mike's tear? He's very upset about that. He didn't like to have holes in his teeth. Would you like to have holes in your teeth, boys no. and girls? Not me. No, mm -hmm. not me either. Mike didn't like it either. Well, one day the little boy looked in his bathroom mirror and he saw that big, black, ugly hole in his tooth. But he didn't know what to do and it kind of scared him a little bit. So he went to his mom and his mama was real smart and said, Mama, what are we going to do about this big, black, ugly hole in my tooth? What do you think she said? What did she say? Um, my mom always says, go to the dentist. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Go to your special friend, the dentist. And they did that, and the dentist took that black hole off Mike Moeller, 
cleaned off all that nasty plaque, and instead gave Mike a nice, shiny filling. Well, do you think oh. this made Mike happy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he liked that. He stopped crying. I and bet he, he started felt smiling. better. Yeah, he felt real good. He liked having a nice, shiny filling. And no more him. holes in his teeth. He liked that a lot. Well, what do you think that dentist told that little boy to do every day? Better brush, brush his teeth. teeth. Brush, brush his teeth. teeth. And what kind of food should he eat? What would be good, good foods for your teeth? Have cheese. Cheese? And, yeah, and apples. Just like what you drew, boys That's and girls. Right. Just Milk. the things that you drew. Just and like these pretty pictures that y'all drew today. That's right. Those are good foods. What are some foods that aren't good for your teeth, boys and girls? Candy. Candy. Sugar. Cookies. Cookies. Cake. Yeah. That's right. All those things. And soda pop, too. They soda can, pop. That's right. They can help make those big cavities in your teeth, so you don't want to eat a lot of those. And if you do, what should you do after you eat cookies and cakes Brush. and candy? Brush, Brush your teeth. teeth. Very good. That's, That's right. right. Brush your teeth. I'm Brush jiggle, wiggle, teeth. one, two, three. That's a good way to brush your teeth. That's right. Well, Miss Kim, we're so glad you could come to well, visit us today. You. And Thanks I know the boys and girls have learned so much. Let's give Miss Miss Kim another round of applause because she's Yay, Miss Kim, right. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You, Ms. Vivian. Yay. Here we go. I think I got it now, Facetia. All right, I'm waiting. All right. Yeah, I think you probably know the tune here. Da 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 da. Jiggle wiggle one two three one two three one two three. Jiggle wiggle one two three. Brush your teeth. You know that tune, don't you? And it's Mary had a little lamb. Oh yeah. Okay. How about? No, it's not. Jiggle wiggle. Mary had a little lamb. Jiggle wiggle one two three. Yeah, you're right. It is. One, two, three. Well, it's okay. We can use it because it fits, right? Yeah. Jiggle wiggle, one, one two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, jiggle wiggle, one, two, three, brush your teeth. Brush your one more teeth. time, everybody! Hey! Jiggle wiggle, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, jiggle wiggle, one, two, three, brush your teeth. What you got there, Michael? Oh, just something somebody handed me on the way over here. Something you're reading? Yeah. What are you up to? Oh, just came over to say hello. How's everybody doing? Just fine. Golly, that's the greatest idea. I wish I'd known that little tune when I was a kid. Where'd you get that from? Well, Facetia saw it on TV. Yeah, Miss Kim from the health department taught us how to brush our teeth, jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. That's right. And if I had known that, I just would have been sitting around all day when yeah. I was a kid. Not as many cavities either. Yeah, let's all sing along here. Ready? Good harmonies. Ready? Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Brush your teeth again. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Brush your teeth. Okay, now the back teeth, Michael. All the teeth in the back. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Brush your teeth. Now the ones on the other side, Michael. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Good. Did we get them all, Facetia? Oh, uh, I think you have to do every single tooth. The ones in the bottom, Michael. You Gotta do them all, tongue. Michael. Ready? Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jiggle, wiggle, one, two, three. Brush your teeth. It's a place we love to be. 